Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD or Power Center and today we're gonna fix this work phone. A work phone that you can use on a construction site or an industrial facility. And this is like a G-Shock of all smartphones. So you can see that this is a CAT S41. A CAT is like a brand name that you can see on, a, on a, an excavator or a tractor or other heavy machinery. So this smartphone is specifically designed to withstand dust and drops that you can experience on a construction facility. But this one has been damaged. You can see that there's a single point on the display that it has been cracked. So maybe something fell on it. So this is a different design compared to your consumer smartphones that you can buy from Samsung or iPhone or Apple. So we start off by removing all the screws on the sides. There's a lot of screws and a lot of rubber covers, gaskets that covers the ports. And we're now gonna pry open this two part shell so there's one at the back and one at the front so so far no adhesives so all the waterproofness is provided by the rubber gaskets and these two polymer uh, shells there's still one screw left this is a charging port it also has a cover so I compared this to a G-Shock of smartphones, but G-Shock is tough. You can drop it and it will not break, but this one has been in an accident maybe, or an extreme drop that it shattered the screen. So it can't be used as, as of the moment. So we're gonna open this first and see what we can do. So this is not really a common brand or a very common repair that we do. We, usually we do Xiaomi's or iPhones or Samsung's. This one is a special one. So this is a testament on the range of smartphone brands and models that David can fix. He already sourced the replacement display on this one. So we're gonna try to figure out how we can remove this battery connector here. It has been taped over but we already took the clips that is holding it in. So it's very secure. That's a good de decision, design decision. This is the connector for the display. David is now inspecting how he can remo remove it. We're gonna tape this part off and then we're gonna start prying off the defective cracked display. We're gonna start off the sides And just by observing, the display is not really uh, covered on the sides. So it's level on the bezel with the rubber bumper that it's, that's supposed to protect it. So that could mean that it's a good way to remove dust accumulation on the side, but it's not really good for protecting the smartphone when you drop it on its face. But we can't really judge it because this uh, display is, is also reinforced on its own. So no need for us to worry about uh, light drops or something like that. Maybe a very heavy object dropped on the top of it. That's why it's got cracked. Now we can see that there's a lot of adhesives on the sides of this display. So this is the only thing that we can see that uh, very generous amount of adhesive were used. We're gonna clean it off. Now we're gonna test fit the replacement display. The exact replacement display for this model of CAT. You can see it fits pretty good. We're gonna put back the physical buttons at the bottom here then clean off the sides where we are gonna put a very generous amount of glue than we usually do. 
you can see that on the side there's a, also the plastic that's somehow your guide on where to put the glue and David is gonna put a lot of it here on top of course not covering the camera and other sensors gonna test fit the new replacement display it's now in put the connector in we're also gonna put back the tape over the metal connector to avoid shorting it out attach the battery connector its retaining clip and then put back the back cover we're almost done so if you're a user of this kind of smartphone that if you need to have a couple of your smartphones repaired maybe from your workplace maybe you dropped it and no one will take it uh, for take it in for repair David here will do this kind of job for you so this is a good news just take it to Sydney CBD repair center you can message him over at Facebook or you can check out our website sydneycbd.repair if you're around vivid Sydney at this time of year you can just visit us before the 6 p.m. start of the light uh, displays and leave it to David for a free diagnosis see what he can do and right now we're gonna put back all the screws test the touch screen unfortunately we can test the internals because this is a work phone maybe some uh, sensitive information is in there so we're just gonna have to test it out on the lock screen the last screw is in charging we're gonna test it it works and we're gonna test the touch screen so thanks for joining guys I hope you enjoy this weird an unusual repair session till next time cheers if you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price you may contact sydney cbd repair center we also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of australia or sydney just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device